hello there and trats my way here and i got yet another legends of room interview for you guys today today we rejoice because one of my favorite archetypes is back and that is but of course cold food with your boy tom kench we take him out of the out of the limbo bench man because this is one of the least played champions in the game right now like it's the katarina of runeterra of today which is really sad but he has a lot of potential and there is some use for the, him in this meta he is a very strong counter to kaisa and that's the idea behind this deck we're bringing back cold food because i wanted to build a deck around frozen fear the new card uh, released with the expansion for the frostbite synergy uh package <laughs> i was gonna say something else frozen and fear is a four mana spell slow speed that says frostbite an enemy summon a rhyme fang pack granted plus one plus one for each time you frostbitten enemies this game the rhyme fang pack is the same token unit that the rhyme fang den mother generates and it's pretty much the same sort of like text right but instead we get it on a what is essentially what it, what plays out like iceville archer a lot like you may think well it's a four mana frostbite yeah but it's spawning you a unit so technically it plays just like iceville archer with the difference that it can be denied which kind of sucks but nonetheless i think it's a really solid card that can actually give this archetype a bit of a win condition right because that's what our win condition ultimately is uh, in the past i've played cold food with either ash or brahm and i've used howling abyss as my late game bomb but this time all we need is your boy ram fan pack we build them up high we use them alongside ash to finish off the game and the reason why we're playing tom kench is so that we can shut down all sorts of strategies that are running around in the meta. Our worst matchup by far is Azir Irelia because they have Ionia. They have abilities. Uh, they can recall Tom Kench effectively. And that uh, really just completely nukes us, right? They can also counter our spells here and there. And they can just out-tempo us, unfortunately. We're also really vulnerable to aggro. But aggro is very low represented, right? Very low represented? That's not, that's not proper English. It's essentially very uncommon. There you go, Miguel. Well done. So, because our uh, because aggro is very uncommon, and because it's just one matchup to take into account when we think about our zero Irelia, everything else is pretty damn winnable. Because even reactive matchups, like for example Twist of Fate uh, Annie, right? We don't necessarily resort to Tom Kench in those matchups, and instead we try to just keep frostbiting them again and again, and just beat them down with our big ass wolf pack and that's essentially the gist of it i've played this deck a lot it's had you know, a very strong performance and you know it may come off like a meme deck it's not the most consistent deck for ladder but i can tell you that it has worked for me in diamond ranked really well like i've actually climbed with it so let me actually explain why uh i chose the cards that i chose and you know what new spicy stuff that we have to showcase because not only are we playing frozen in fear and uh what's the other new card that i had in mind um Besides uh, that, no, it's just Frozen if you're actually. We're also, <laughs> totally that ruined the segue. We're also playing Cracking Ice as a one-off because Cracking Ice can allow us to very cheaply frostbite something beforehand, you know, the, the round before we're gonna eat it, you know, frostbite something. And then the next round we chow down with Tom Kench. Tom Kench mixes really well with frostbites because we can capture, aka eat units without having to uh, have them strike back at us because their uh, power will be at zero. So the idea is we use Tom Kench uh, in this meta specifically to counter Kaisa. More than anything, we're able to play Tom Kench on curve. Right before they play her on five, we play Tom Kench on four. And then all we have to do is frostbite her and capture her with the uh, acquired taste. And all of a sudden we shut down uh, the threat. Because they, they basically, right now, the variant of Kaisa running around is Demacia, right? So it resorts to strike spells or Cataclysm to remove your units. And we can counter that uh, sort of removal with our Frostbites very easily, giving us overall a very strong matchup. Rhyme Tusk Shaman shines in this deck a lot. In case you're wondering, this card got buffed. You probably didn't know, but it got buffed a while back. It was usually a 3 3, and now it's a 3 4. And that makes a big deal because we could potentially buff these units even further with with our Starlit Seers, which we're playing because we have a pretty high density of spells in 20. And a lot of them are cheap, you know, we have a lot of protection. We have Troll Chance, we have Elixirs of Irons, we have a full set of Brittle Steel. So being able to uh, buff our units in this deck goes a long way because having a thick Tom Kench can be very difficult to kill. Having a big Rhyme Tusk Shaman 
which we can actually make use of the stats alongside the fact that we're frostbiting every turn can be just ridiculous and uh just everything benefits from a buff you know obviously ryan fang wolf as well we're running this as a pseudo alternative tom kench to be able to benefit from our frostbites while using them as removal basically and uh then we have obviously have ice for archer ash and uh like i mentioned ryan fang dead mother the wing condition as the final unit in the deck we have a uh, card draw with either the boros instead of any other form of card draw this one gives us a chum blocker at burst speed which makes it better than everything else we got harsh winds for some high impact frostbites like we need you know we have a lot of uh, brutal steels and we have four set of three sisters but we also want to be able to have uh actual value out of our frostbites in the later game so harsh winds becomes really clutch there and uh, yeah i think i've gone over every single card here it's just a really fun archetype man i just I just absolutely love me some cold food, and this new version is my favorite to date. With Frozen in Fear and the Rhyme Fan Pack as a win condition. Like, come on. Decks don't get cooler than this. <laughs> don't subscribe, please. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Have a soul day. Hope you enjoy the games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. Not the intended uh, matchup to counter, but. I think Freezes can do well here. It's Zillion and Victor, though. That's got spicy Rin all over it. Mm, all right. I mean, they, they create the, the bombs, and the bombs synergize with Victor, right? So that, that does make sense. We're going to go ahead and do a full mulligan, even with Ash in our hand. Our, our most important champion is Tom Kench. There we go. There's Tommy Boy. And we got the Starlets here as well. That's a good draw, too, in case they happen to be very aggressive. Prismatic preparations. We are recording. Okay. Let's get started. Right there. My plans. Flex of you. Who goes there? Let's not ruffle our feathers. Thermogenic beam, but they could be trying to line it up for a. For a time bomb. Hmm. Now, when am I? Better, better. I'd rather keep the. Whoa. Oh, they don't even want to trade. They don't even respect the Starlets here. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to attack early on because I was a bit worried about them trading into that. Okay, they find another Zillion. All right. So they really want the time bombs. Very safe to assume that they are playing the Rite of Passage. They want them bombs. And I want my Kench. The way is always the same. I am unbenched. Yeah, boys, out of the bench and ready to eat. Blessed by snow and stars. There's a meal. I will unite the frail yard. As the arrow flies. We're not making bird that all that mana. Just continuing to develop our board. I love drawing that elixir of iron. That's really important. Especially considering this region combination uh, doesn't really remove stuff outside of damage. So as long as we can keep Tom Ketch healthy. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Agreed. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. And when there's no rush, you play the Rhyme Tusk Shaman with that sexy four health. This card was a 3 3 for like forever, and then it got buffed, but she still got it kind of forgotten. But man, does she put in the work in this deck. Alright. Well, now we plan your room inside. Look at this. Blessed by snow and stars. Step 
Which one's fair? That is a thick ass unit though. What am I worried about? Like, come on. That's a 6-5 Rhyme Fang Wolf. That's that's just way too good to say no to. Especially because we can get rid of you. While still threatening with an acquired taste. We got Elixir of Iron to protect against uh, Mystic Shot, for example. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. Aberosans, stand together! Gotta keep this time kind of healthy. We're not killing them this round anyways. Uh, we put them on a turn two clock regardless. We may as well keep our units in the back. Got any more bombs, friend? Heads up. Oh. oh, okay. An auspicious season. Let me get rid of that zillion. I have this elixir of iron, so I feel I feel pretty safe because of it. Even though it does set us up for a hexite crystal, and that's a play that I don't I'm not really too fond of here. The frost oh, I don't require a menu. But I want to level up Tom Kench as early as possible. There you are. This would be a good winter. In my magnificence! That's the third zillion gun. One was killed with Red Calling. The other two digested in my belly. So if that was part of your win condition, what the fuck? Was, oh. <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't even see the card. Yeah, now if Zillion was a part of your wicked condition, then that's that's the, but I mean you have Victor still, so Okay, there's another uh time bomb incoming. Alright, goodbye, shaman. Bombs galore. A little straw. Hmm. Starless here is a great draw here. It's going to allow us to uh, just continue to generate insane value. A true welcome. This is starting to look like damage that he can't really ignore. Is that a problem? Another bomb does is dirty. We are getting bombed here. Can't ignore it. It's like slowly but surely, but it's it's happening. There it is. The right of calling combo. Alright. Blessed by snow and stars. Bring a few too many spells here. Uh, 
They have generated nine time bombs. Are they duplicated in? Crystal arrow just to draw because I need a unit. Ah, we're talking. Now we're talking. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you. Wait for it. There, they're taking their time. The wind condition! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Interesting deck, though. <laughs> we defeat the cheese! With our own cheese. Semenenko playing Bardalawi. And here, uh, the game plan is pretty similar, actually. I don't mind keeping double Tom Kench. Not gonna lie, it's a very important card here. Uh, being able to eat tentacles is really important because not only because not only do we remove them, but if if for some reason Tom catches the answer, uh, the tentacle will return as a one-one. And double Starlit Seer feels really neat. I could um. Tentacle smash is a thing. Nagakaburo surrounds us. We see through all. all right. Truth is no betting. My diet is expensively unique. Drop the ice fill archer. Well, you've already got the pot boiling. Yes, but that's for you. Army. Gotta go for the acquired taste just because of all the crazy value I'm generating with Starless Sears here. Start picking off the board, even though we're we're very vulnerable because we only have a troll chant available to us here. But freezing her was was very important because keeping Tom Kench healthy is gonna be easier than done here when they have stuff like. Okay, I, I was worried about technical smash. Just doesn't quite do it yet though. All right, I think we um I think we definitely definitely need a, a fast speed freeze here. I'm sure there's something for my team. That is a big ass den mother though. There's a tentacle smash. Oh, an auspicious season. Oh 
We gotta get rid of everything that we've captured, otherwise we just get completely shut down. This would be a good winter. It's too late now. Come along. There's room for everyone. Shout down. Yeah, we we definitely we need to level up really bad because them getting back that Alawi would have been really not good for us. I'm gonna let this uh, Starlet Seer survive. I'm actually eager for Tom Kench to go down, so I can play the uh, the big beefy Tom Kench here. Good. The ocean is never still. I think we all know. Why are you here? I said your payment. <laughs> well, I'm here to get my money! If it's a fight they want, let's not ruffle our feathers. <laughs> oh man, let's go! Now we gormandize. Cool cannon. I was like entranced there for a second. Elise Viego. So like old Viego. Interesting. Not even Katarina in the mix. Ugh. They don't attack on two, which means that Ice Blue Archer is not nearly as good then. Ooh, we get to try out cracking ice. Uh, Tom Catch is less reliable here because they have Noxious based removal. Noxious and Shadow Ops, potentially. No, uh, okay, no at least on the curve. That's good for us. Very good. I will unite the frail yard. Tom Kench is important to deal with. Prevent the vehicle from leveling up more than anything. I need to keep this fearsome blocker. The dark beckons. If it's a fight they want. Because of the fearsome, we need to be able to block into that. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. 
Every scar and memento I earn. Reveals all to me. I've seen it all. Buy me a brew. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. We take the hit and then we drop another one. We're gonna go for the crystal arrow. Let fly. Blessed by snow and stars. Start bringing the dogs. Let's let the dogs out. The frost reveals all to me. It's a thick starlet, all right. That works out. You matter so little. G -g Let's, go. Let's go! Rhyme bag for the win! Nice! Yikes. Not really. Not really the matchup we're excited about. Um. Because they can just... I mean, Ryan Fang Wolf is pretty important here. Frozen Meteor can be countered. Let's move away everything else. Troll Chant is not necessarily bad. I mean, maybe I should have kept the Troll Chant. I do like seeing Starlet. don't like seeing you. Yeah, Ryan Fang Wolf is definitely... We see through all where it's at for this. We have to take the hit. Stay away while you can. It's two damage that we're preventing for just one health. That's definitely worth it. B. 
That's fine. Get to tap out like that, getting those two combat tricks out of them. I'm okay with that. Now we play Tom Kench. You are nothing worthless. Okay, well. Thank you. These are the kind words. Bid it, bid it. Advertisers of plenty. I can't really play Ash here as much as I would like. I'm going to play Ryan Fang Wolf. Because, yes, they may have uh, the four mana spell. I mean, they always seem to have it. When rhythm takes hold, there is no time for fear. Don't waste my time. How delectable. Blessed by snow and stars. We're going cracking ice on this. The reason why I'm not swallowing that with uh, Tom Kent is because it has a summon effect. It has a summon effect, a and I'm pretty sure they have the uh, the four mana like recall a spell. So Tom Kench is not, like I said, is not a part of the win condition here. You will speak when I allow you. I will unite the frail yard. I want to make it awkward for them, Flow. just because of how awkward this matchup is. Recalling is happening now. Like I, I know the recalling is coming. I, I know they've had that spell since then. I just, I played this as best as I could. We said we dance together again someday. How could we have known it would be like this? Oh, an auspicious season. Just 
not ruffle our feathers. The problem is our recall effect here just completely shuts us down. We have harsh winds, but if they recall us here, they get to do, and they haven't attacked yet. This severely limits our, our ability to play, and but the moment this goes through, I mean, they've been, they've been telegraphing it all game, but can I actually afford to play around it? Because Domination comes... Like, if they if they return this, Domination comes back. Domination comes back. It's just way too much. This would be a good if winter. they happen to not have it, if they happen to not have it, I, I, I can level up Tom Kench before it happens. Uh... But they have it. They've always had it. Like, they've always telegraphed it. I just... Ugh. Yeah. I think... I think that is a risk I have to go for. At this stage of the game. And now we're dead. Now we're dead just because of the of the double of the double blade surge onto that. GG. I grab every time. I mean, are you um, this and aggro are terrible matchups? So we, we did okay. Forgive me, have a look. Alright, from worst to best. This is the matchup I want to showcase. We're gonna go for a full mulligan because the most important thing in this matchup is to draw Tommy Boy. There you are. A little bit of a uh, cheaper protection would be nice, though. Okay, Archer's good. Archer sparkles. So the key thing about this deck is that um, it has two good cards, and the rest are just eh. That's Kaisa and Void Abomination. We take this hit. We're not gonna play. We're not like gonna let them play Kaisa. Appetizers of plenty. So we're gonna make use of our mana. Gonna make them burn mana. Gonna play a little bit of catch up here. Broadwing is a little bit annoying. That's right. Run!
there's a will, there's a meal. I should have lit off with the uh, the Iceville Archer. A chill in the air. Do drop it now, though. And we pass now again. Because they have a lot of mana that they're setting up, but we're building up our, our board here. Sure there's something for my taste. We have a lot to counter their attacks. Like we're not we're not afraid of their board with our, our, our frost bites in the back here. Just gotta be very, very wary what we do here, as long as they threaten us. I'd love to play you, but we're under a lot of pressure here. We need to be able to answer Kaisa immediately. My comestibles are getting cold. <laughs> so I don't think this is the turn for the for the shaman, unfortunately. Okay, no more Kaisa. No more Kaisa means. I like the harsh winds, but maybe it's just Iceville Archer. We'll see. Maybe Archer would have been important here. Just want to make sure that I always have my ability to react. <laughs> You're gonna take your own damn medicine. Not and ready. We definitely want to have acquired taste here. Because if they do, if they do go for a cataclysm onto Sibur, then we can uh, fear the north. We can fear the north here. Appetizers of plenty. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. Now is the moment we uh, we play you. Big Ash. Seven cards in hand versus my five, six. Though this this rhyme to shaman on the board is gonna really get us going. That is a threat though. I can almost take the the boy. I know what they are. I know how to destroy them. My big concern is the right of negation. Blessed by snow and stars. Ah, an auspicious season. Blessed by snow and stars. If they have right of negation, they have it. Play if they don't, they don't. Frostbites don't affect this, but we do have Elixir of Iron, so they need to pump this up a lot. Elixir will make sure that no matter what, we, we keep our Tom Kench here. Got blockers for these easily. But man, like, Kaisa attacking just kills off my Ice Archers like, as if it were nothing. about cataclysm my aim is true all the world on 
and one arrow. Single combat or or cataclysm. Well, at least we know that Kaiser ain't coming back because of the board space. The frost reveals all to me. Blessed by snow and stars. Let fly. Sucks about my board space, man. Because if I play this, then all of a sudden I can. Uh, let's just. We have frostbites for these for their incoming attack. Send chills up my spine. It's a good draw as well. I'd love nothing more than just drop the Rhyme Fang Dead Mother, though. Even the Void Abomination, we have an answer for. Have they played any scouts this game? I guess we'll find out soon. Big doggo time, because Golden Aegis doesn't kill us. Golden Aegis does not kill us. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. beautiful. The frost reveals all to me. Attack like this. Gotta get that overwhelmed. They could have quick chan. They definitely could have quick sand. But they got no more blockers. Maybe I should just attack with this, honestly. There's the quick sand. And that's still lethal. That is still lethal. Hey! There we go! There we go! Oh! 